Yeah, I've been mucking around a lot with uh, electronics today, and I thought I'd show you something interesting that uh, I remember from a very long time ago. My dad showed me uh, something called a cell sin, synchronous uh, motor setup. And uh, I discovered that you can do the same thing with stepper motors. They're probably actually very similar to what these uh, cell sin uh, uh, motors were for. And what they were used for at that time was uh, he had two of these rather large motors, and apparently they were used for position indication on some old radar dishes that were scrapped you know, ages ago. Anyways, uh, I thought I'd show you the same effect with a couple of stepper motors uh, coupled together with uh, one working like a motor and the other working like a generator. Uh, it's interesting. So what I've got is I've got uh, two identical stepper motors here and I've coupled them all together uh, to the point where I've uh, coupled the... Uh, now these are uh, unipolar motors so they have uh, two coils with uh, center taps on them. And what I've done is I've coupled the outer edges of the coils and left the center taps uh, uncoupled but I've just coupled them straight up you know like uh, what is it blue stripe to blue stripe, red stripe to red stripe, and uh, blue to blue and red to red. And uh, what you can do with that is you can rotate one motor. This isn't working very well right now. Um, probably because I'm shorting out one of the phases somewhere. I'm just looking to make sure. Actually, that was grounding out right there. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, it tends to only work for a, a lot higher speed, probably because it's got to induce a fair bit of voltage. But you can see that for when I'm not, you know, well, you can tell when I'm losing a connection there because suddenly it becomes a lot easier to rotate it. But you can see that uh, that for uh, you know the motion of this uh, stepper, which is acting like the generator, I'm getting this uh, stepper to actually work the way it's supposed to as a motor, and it rotates at a mount pretty much proportionate to this one now uh, you know this setup has a lot of drag in it so it's not rotating one to one unfortunately but uh, it's a similar sort of an idea as these uh, these uh, synchronous motors uh, that they used to use a long time ago were I thought it was just interesting uh, no no uh, power source at all required just something you can fool around with now I did try it with some smaller stepper motors a while ago uh, these are ones out of some Kodak cameras or something like that, or at least they're marked with Kodak or Polaroid or something like that on them. Uh, they don't seem to have enough uh, power to do, be able to do that, but uh, these ones it seems to work with. Just something interesting.